Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As part of today's video, we are going to see how we can uh, how we can you know modify assets properties by making use of Sidecore Content Hub scripts, actions, and triggers. So we have uh, three different entities involved here. So the first one is scripts. So the script is where you will actually write you know your actual processing logic. Then the second thing which uh, uh, we have we will work is action so action is what uh, you know you will configure that this particular action should be you know calling uh, which script and th then the third thing is the actual triggers which will basically control when this you know which event should trigger and where you know what are those conditions when this you know script should get called so let's just get started so the first thing as I mentioned uh, we the first thing which we have to do is uh, you know we have to basically create a script first we have to you know write that script so to do that let's just go to manage area and from manage area you can go to scripts so let me just search for scripts here and yes so we are into scripts and from scripts uh, we you know we can create a new script here so just click on this plus script button and then you just define your uh, give your you know, script some name so in this case I'm just going to give it as sample uh, uh, script for example okay and then what is the type of your script so there are different types which you can uh, select from here it could be you know your action script metadata processing user pre-registration post registration user sign-in so basically you can specify when what is the type of your script when actually this script should get called so for now it's just an action script because I just want to call the script from an action you know via action and then you just all uh, you can also specify a description so you know, it's the same for now just click on save and now if we see like we have the sample script created here so the first thing which you can do is you can just enable this one and then if I go to this script okay so right now there is nothing found for the script as in uh, for the script content so here you see like we have view logs and edit right so if I click on edit on the, on the right hand side you also see uh, you know we can see like we have this uh, the name of your script what is the type of your script and the description if any so let's just click on edit so when you click on edit you will see this editor uh, you know will get open for you and here we can type our script right so whatever script uh, we want to write we can write here so as I mentioned in the starting the objective of this video is to cover how we can uh, uh, you know uh, update the uh, you know asset properties so in this case what I'm going to do is for every digital asset we have an title and we will just try to convert uh, the asset uh, title property to all lowercase so let's say you know if uh, if I'm just trying to upload an asset uh, with all you know the, the, the let's say the title is all in caps right or in combination uh, this script what it will does is it basically uh, you know uh, convert all the you know all the characters to lowercase for that specific digital asset so for that purpose I already uh, have the script uh, ready for with me we can just go through the script together right so now this is the script we have right so we're just trying to load an assets with a uh, few properties on it like property load option we're just trying to load only title properties instead of you know loading everything just title uh, will get loaded uh, relation load option there is no relation we're trying to the culture is just default and then the second thing is we are trying to get uh, the specific you know uh, asset right so it's the, uh, the the context for which asset we are trying to do that so we we are doing it via context to target ID dot value so it basically gives us the grid for that uh, specific asset and then from here I'm just trying to get that specific asset by calling m client to entities dot get async of that asset ID and then this asset load configuration this object if asset uh, found then what we do like we uh, you know we take that specific title value here and then uh, uh, we try to set that uh, like for this specific asset we try to set the property value of title 
with asset title dot two lower. So whatever asset title we give there, it uh, you know the new property will convert everything to lowercase, and it sets that specific property also. In this case, it is title, and then finally we just change. Uh, you know some you know we're just logging some uh, few things in here and then finally we're also trying to save uh, that asset so this is what uh, it's very basic script so what I can do is I can also uh, build the script by just clicking on the build uh, you'll see like requesting compilation on server so let's just wait for that it might take a while so sometimes what happens is you know this keeps on going um, I think this is in a bug with uh, content hub so what I can do is I can just click on done for now and just try to refresh the uh, the script again and yeah so on the on your right you can see the build output is built successful so the next step is I can just click on publish so that this uh, script gets published so now this script is also published right so done so step number one creating that script and publishing is over so the second thing is once we have the script uh, available so the second thing is we have to create an action which will consume uh, this script so for that let's just go to again manage area search for actions yeah so we have this actions now and uh, I can just uh, you know click on new action and I can just give my action some name I'm just going to give a sample action here uh, label you can specify something so what's the type of script it is an actions uh, script and based on your selection uh, you can you also get to select which script you want your action to get called right so in this case um, the script which I have here is sample script so I can just select the sample script from the drop down so I think I have all everything ready here script name uh, what is the type of script and then your actual script which will get called uh, once you have uh, everything populated just click on save so now your action is also uh, available so the last uh, the third and the last thing here is to create a trigger so for that again let's go to the manage area go to triggers and triggers is where you know the starting point for us so if I just click on a new trigger yeah so here you can see like we have three different tabs here like journal condition and actions so the first thing is we have to give some name to this trigger I'm just going to give it a sample trigger some description and then uh, we have two drop downs one for is objective and one for execution so what objective does is like so if I click on this drop down so you will see like we have entity creation entity modification and entity deletion so what is the objective of your uh, you know of your trigger when exactly it should get called right so when you're trying to create some uh, entities you are modifying something on existing uh, you know uh, entities or when you when you want to delete some entities right so in this case I'm just doing it uh, for entity creation so what will uh, like basically my idea is whenever I create a new asset that's where the script should get called and do that modification and whatever we we have written as part of our script and then yeah we go from there so but still like for you uh, if you have certain requirements where you want to do something when you modify uh, basically what you know what we can also do is the same script we can target for our entity modification as an objective but for now I just want to keep it very simple so that's why I have selected as an entity creation as my objective and then uh, so the next thing what we have here is execution type so execution types defines when ex you know what is the type of your execution you want to do it in process or you want to do it in background so it's up to you in this case it is in background yeah but uh, one thing which you uh, what you know what we can follow is here uh, if you have some you know heavy operations uh, uh, if you want to do some heavy operations as part of your script uh, preferably you should do it as part of your in background right instead of doing it in process because it might you know impact your uh, user experience there so in this case also I'm just going to do it in background so the next step here is conditions so conditions define 
so here basically you have to specify you know this is the condition so which will basically control whether your trigger should actually get caught or not right so as part of this condition you have to specify your definition type like for which entity you want to uh, you want this trigger to get you know actually get called so in this case as we are working for the asset so our definition should be m dot asset and then once you have your definitions here you can also click on conditions right so if i click on condition so the first thing is you just select your definition and then click on plus condition and the condition could be anything right so in this case as i mentioned like i want to uh, i want to run the script when this asset gets uh, created and that's where it uh, it uh, you know change the uh, the title property of your assets to all lowercase right so in this case uh, what i can do is i can check for final life cycle status right and then i can check the current value if it contains all or any and then if i check for this final life cycle status if i click on add it will basically show all the uh, available options for my uh, final life cycle status so in this case um, uh it will be created so you know wherever the final life cycle status is created that's where it will get called so it will not get called whenever this asset gets approved or deleted or rejected or whenever it is under review so it would gets called uh, when uh, the uh, life cycle status get changed to created so which means uh, when we are uh, trying to upload a specific asset that's where it gets called so yes so yeah so from the conditions we want to do it for amrit asset and then for amrit asset also we want to do only for uh, only for those assets where the final life cycle status is created next is action so action is if i click on add action so you uh, can specify what what action you want to call when you are when you are this specific condition or whatever condition you have specified here it gets you know satisfied which action you want to get called so in this case if you remember like for us the action was sample action so if i search for that action we should probably find it here yes and then uh, yeah that's it so if i go to journal we have our trigger defined what is the objective of it it should get called on the entity creation step execution type is in the background condition is it should get called only for amrit asset entity and that too only when the final life cycle status is created and action which action it will call it will call the sample script that's where our uh, you know our actual processing logic is available so once you have all these things there just click on save and close so now uh, yeah you can definitely activate this trigger and now if you see uh, we have done three things we have written the script with a, where our actual processing logic is available second is action and third is trigger so trigger basically calls an action and calls uh, uh, an action uh, indirect uh, calls and uh, scripts there right so now let's just test the script if it uh, is really working or not so for that what we can do is I can just go to create so on the create page I can just click on add click on upload files and let me just click on select files go to my desktop and this one right so yeah, it is done and click on done from here and it is now processing so now you see like we have the sample.jpg so if i just refresh this again uh let's just wait for this to yeah so now you see like it is now converted to um, all lowercase let me just remove it so that uh, you don't get confused for this one so still the renditions um, uh, you know let that uh, metadata processing is still going on so rendition is still not available let's just refresh it so now you see like we have the sample.jpg here right so now you see like initially our file name was sample all capital and now uh, after the uh, this image is processed you can see the sample.jpg is now all in lowercase so now to just to validate how things has happened is we can also go to scripts again so scripts and let's go to our script which was sample script here and let's just go there 
and here what we can do is we can go to view logs so you see like on the view logs so if I click on view logs so it shows let's change rename sample.jpg to sample. this one right so we have just renamed this sample.jpg to sample.jpg as a name so you can also see all this information as part of your logs so similarly you know this was just an example like uh, how you can make use of your scripts and your uh, uh and your actions and triggers similarly if you, you know if you have a specific requirement where let's say you are uh, you you already have your digital assets available there and you want to change in bulk you know you want to change uh, let's say title to add some suffix prefix or you want to change some other metadata properties there in bulk you can make use of trigger and uh, you know you get uh, things done that way you can also call your scripts directly but yes if you want to have uh, uh, you know you want to control your scripts execution based on certain conditions and when it should get called based on what metadata you should get called then probably you have to go via triggers and which calls you your action and action calls your uh, scripts so that's what i just wanted to cover as part of uh, this video if you have any questions around uh around scripts uh, triggers and actions please let uh, let me know and we can you know take it forward from there and yeah thanks for your time thank you